When Byton unveiled its very first all-electric SUV a couple of years ago and I fell in love with it, uh, there were two things that people were very sure of. One is that the big screen, uh, which essentially is the dashboard of the car, will never make it into production. And two, that the $45,000 target price it will, will never make it either because, you know, I, that's too cheap. Uh, how can you really guarantee that it's going to be $45,000, you know, down the road, two, three years down the road, especially with all the tariff wars and, and a presidential election and the coronavirus? Well, well, the virus had nothing to do with it, really. But the other two is actually legit uh, questions. Now, uh, let's address the first one. And as you probably know now, as you're looking at the video of the actual uh, pr final design uh, pre-production prototype. And as you probably know, I've actually driven the Zero Two, uh, the second car off of the, uh, off of the uh, uh, Nanjing factory. This screen is staying all 48 inches of it, whether you like it or not. And I like it. Um, also, the screen that's actually the controls, uh, the larger screen that's that's right there on the uh, in, on your wheel, and all other screens that uh, they've had, which I absolutely I love big screens. I know some of you don't, and that's okay. You don't have to put in a comment section that you don't like them, but a lot of us like them. Uh, and the, as a matter of fact, they've added one extra screen. So there, uh, all screens are staying plus one. So that's that's that. However, uh, let's talk about the pricing, right? So, I mean, because the concerns were legit, right? Especially when you're dealing with China, uh, you know, with, with what's going on right now in the world, it's, it's, it's a tough call. Now, I Fortunately, I sat down with uh, Biden's CEO a couple of weeks ago. It got an answer. I, I, first of all, he told me what uh, the current target price for the United States is. And on top of that, how can they even guarantee that price once again, with all of this uncertainty. And I got to tell you, Biden pulled a pretty good move. To, and, and the answer is pretty good. Now, before I play that interview for you guys, though, let me also, uh, I know what some of you are also going to say in the comment section, kind of tired of replying to it. But I, some people will go like, well, yeah, but I don't want to buy, I don't want a Chinese car. I mean, like, yeah. And, and you know, as they're saying that, as they're typing this comments in the comment section, they're typing it in on their iPhones and galaxies that are made in China while walking in their Nikes that are made in China, looking through their glasses that are made in China. Here's the thing. We buy a lot of quality stuff from China. Uh, we don't complain about that. They have figured out how to make quality cars in China as well. And I know not all of you kind of believe me when I myself went to China, to Nanjing, uh, and, and told you that. But I figured you should probably uh, be able to take it from somebody who is undisputedly one of the best manufacturing gurus. So let's hear it from Sandy. And by the way, he is one of the uh, monthly contributors now to this channel. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel by now, I strongly recommend clicking on the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you know when Sandy is going to be having his segment on the show next time. All right, so here we go. Sandy, give us the truth. Don't think for a second that, uh, that uh, they're not you were not gonna be seeing uh, cars from China coming here, especially, especially if, um, if, the, um, uh, if the buying public decides to go to electric. It's going to be damn hard, really, really hard to compete with uh, with what I've seen in China. They don't have old crappy factories. They got brand new factories. Those factories are spectacular, and they're loaded with uh, German machine tools and whatnot. They sell machine tools to the Americans, but when it comes to what they want for their production, uh, they go to Germany and they buy the Germany and Switzerland. Uh, they they buy the absolute best. They're not fooling around. That's right. And, you know, I, here's the thing. This is, you You may not know, but some of the car manufacturers, including BMW, will be producing some of their new models in China for the rest of the world. There will be BMWs here in the United States and other manufacturers, the legacy manufacturer cars here in the United States and around the world that are going to be exclusively made in China because he's right. They're not kidding around. Their equipment uh, is, is state of the art and in many many times actually better than what we have here in the United States and what they have even in Europe. So 
we should take this seriously. The quality is going to be up to par. And I met the guy who runs the, the Biden factory personally. And that guy's not kidding around. A former legacy manufacturer executive. He is not kidding around. All right. So, uh, and by the way, of course, full disclosure that this, uh, uh, this channel is uh, uh, sponsored by Biden. Though not right now. This video is actually sponsored by Climate Exchange. One of the other sponsors. So we might as well get to it. Because they only have a few, few days left for the big raffle. So if you haven't gotten your tickets, they only have a few left. Right? And only 4,000 are going to be sold. So your chances are pretty good. If you do win, you get to pick pretty much any configuration of Tesla you want up to $195,000. And even if you don't, you'll be contributing to a great cause, climate exchange, a great organization. So go to this, to the, to the link in this video and buy your tickets today. Unfortunately, it's for US only. All right. So now let's move on to uh, my interview with uh, Biden CEO. Uh, Danielle Kirchert, uh, that, uh, well, I first addresses my comment about his presentation that he just made before we, uh, we did that interview, but also talking about the price, uh, uh, the target, and how they're able to achieve it. Here we go. Now, you had yet another presentation pretty much in this is your third CES, right? Yeah. Third presentation. Yeah. Um, but I think you forgot one thing to do on stage. And, yeah. you know, I didn't see you throwing metal balls at the windows. Oh, What's going yeah. on with that? <laughs> That's good. Yeah, we haven't. I think we will wait for a third or fourth car to make an armor proof vehicle. Uh, let's focus on the first one first. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But uh, another thing I want to ask you, let's talk about some investors. I know sometimes talking about investors is boring, but there's one investor I want to talk about, and they're from South Korea, right? Yeah. The originally, you partnered with them for some of the know-how and just, you know, yeah. for the South Korean market. Yeah. But humor me here. If the tariffs, mm. the tariff war, whatever you want to call it, with, with, with the U.S. administration and China yeah. continue on and we have a still kind of a mess, yeah. is there a possibility that you guys will use that uh, investor, which is also, uh, you know, automaker, to, to, to assemble, the, you know, to, to make the parts yeah. in Nanjing factory, uh, uh, bring them. Th this is just my personal idea. Yeah. Bring them to South Korea, yeah. and then export it to U.S. Yeah. So you don't you don't have to pay tariffs. Is that a possibility? Yeah. You're very smart, huh? That's exactly the plan. My uh, mom tells me that yeah. all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, actually, that's uh, that's 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 the plan, and I think it's very elegant because we got like three things solved. Uh, so we get a great investor, we get access to the Korean market, plus we get a backup solution in case there's a China-U.S. trade war. So. And actually, we are, we are preparing for this. It's, 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 it's a great solution, yeah. Now, uh, you know, last question. You know, it looks like you're keeping the price target yes. still at $45,000 yes. in the U.S.? Yes, yes. We did some calculations recently, so we believe we can achieve that. So, uh, and uh, we are committed to make that happen. I mean, we might not immediately launch the entry model right from the beginning so there will be a, of course a packaging logic but we try to keep a very l uh, clean and 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 simple to understand offer logic not to complicate it and uh, i think during 2020 at some point of time we will finally reveal packaging and pricing so that that uh, customers can really put a binding order in okay. So the bulletproof glass will not be for forty five thousand dollars that package is separate yeah, got that it package might be a bit more expensive yeah <laughs> You know, that's true. My mom does tell me uh, that I'm very smart all the time. Somehow she's, all, she's the only one, though. I'm okay with that. But okay, listen, here's the thing. Um, uh, f this is the first time I I've heard it, and, and I'm glad I heard it from Daniel, that uh, the target price is uh, still 45000 Even I was kind of preparing myself. It's going to be, you know, maybe closer to fifty. I mean, time has passed. Uh, 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 but it's glad to hear that it's 45000 Of course, after the incentives and all that stuff, it's going to be closer to uh, 35000 In some states here uh, in the U.S., like Colorado and New Jersey now, congratulations, New Jersey, um, it's going to be closer to, you know, 32000 um, Now, I can't wait for mine. Uh, again, it's not for everybody all right i'm i'm uh, but as somebody who's one of the few people who driven this car i'm absolutely in love um now that i see how the interface works and by the way uh this video is being shown here demonstrating the entire interface now that they have it out there um there's a video on this channel that you can just a complete walk through um check it out uh but I absolutely love the way that they're planning on going uh, around the you know this tariff bs that's happening um so that is always good news so 
Let me know in the comment section what are you guys are thinking, if you're a part of the reservation list or not. And by the way, I also want to say thank you to one of my new Patreons, John. Thank you so much for uh, joining my Patreon community. You know, it's my Patreons and my sponsors like Climate Exchange, Evan X Biden, and others uh, that I'm able to provide this every day to you guys, including weekends, including my birthdays, uh, and also go on locations. And, and I'm going to be going to LA next month, actually, uh, to check something out uh, for you. So stay tuned for that, which also reminds me, uh, don't forget, to subscribe to this channel if you already have well then don't forget to click on the uh, bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward all right i am looking forward to your comments other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged